Here comes the old guy. Who's not playing like an old guy, 40 years old. Troy gave you some of the statistics at the top. Percy Harvin is the electrifying rookie. Very good offensive line. And really an embarrassment of riches for Brett Favre with where he can go with the football. And you look at some of the players that he has to throw the football to. Take Sidney Rice, for example. I mean, a guy who until this year hadn't shown a lot some of that because of injury but I think Brett Favre has brought out a lot of potential from some of these young players starting with a throw and it's a safe throw out of the backfield that's Adrian Peterson the shoulders of this defense another throw from Favre who slings it for Sidney Rice to in for a third down and seven Opening possession of the game two first downs now on third down wide open. It's the rookie Harvin First down Minnesota the Chicago you can see these linebackers They're showing that they're gonna come on the blitz They want to try to hold up the guards, but the Vikings sift through that very well They give Brett Favre great protection in the pocket And then it's just a matter of finding Percy Harvin in the middle, but he's faster than he gets credit for Favre underneath it's Chester Taylor Chester sprinting out to his right wide open is Sidney Rice for a completion on third down. Well, Chicago going with a four man rush. They move the pocket with Brett Favre, and this is pretty easy. I mean, he's got Sidney. Handoff is not given. Now it's dropped off to Chester Taylor. Fake the handoff. On first down, Favre trying to set up a screen. He gets it to Chester Taylor. And Briggs makes the stop. Third down and seven. Favre steps up and slings it wide open as Berrien. First down, Chicago inside, inside. the 10. They're in a cover two defense. And they're able to get in behind it, but they don't get you the either corners. got to carry that then with the corner, or you've got to get more help from the safety over the top. In order to defense that play. Now an empty backfield behind Favre, and he goes over the middle. Touchdown, Percy Harvin. Favre actually had an opportunity to get the ball to Harvin earlier than what he did. Percy Harvin runs a nice route. He he sets up the defender and then cuts across his face for a pretty good lane there for Brett Favre. But Brett does get. And Favre throws. Sidney Rice makes the catch. And he is dragged down, but Rice lets Second down and ten. Favre sets up and throws and completes. That's Barry. Down and three. Pass complete, and there's Rice. And the Vikings against this Bears defense, they're moving it right down the field, and they're in position to regain the lead. And in terms of our defense. And that's how this team feels coming in. And, you know, they've not... They've not done their job. They got the turnover, but Minnesota has put together now their second big drive. Second straight time in the red zone. It's Harvin. Harvin is hit by Roach. Last three to four seasons. It's third down and three. Favre keeps it, drops it off for Taylor. Chester Taylor into the end zone. Touchdown. And when they're able to put Adrian Peterson on the sideline and then bring in Chester Taylor, who can really pretty much do it all. And it's just off play, play action. A blitz coming. Bears watch Favre just flip it forward. For but since turning 40 years old, Brett Favre on October 10th, 15 touchdowns, two interceptions, and a quarterback rating of over 120. First pick of the season for Allen as Favre slings it for Schenko. And it's Philadelphia against Washington. Blitz coming. Quick throw, and it's Barry the reception I mean Favre I, I this this always turns into a Favre love fest anytime any broadcast crew shows up but he's getting pressure in his face blitz right up the middle throws it before Barry and gets out of his break and it's a perfect pass well and that's why some teams are reluctant to come after Favre because even if you do get pressure on him he does a good job of getting the ball out of his hands even though he has taken some sacks they have been sacks that he's just hung on to the ball too long it has not been a reflection of this offensive line they have done a great job up front of protecting for him but you know when you play 19 years in the league you're just not going to fool this guy second down and one far throws completes to Barry on this side of the field 
Favre throws it. Pass is caught. Sidney Rice with 35 seconds left. Rice down to the two. Well, we saw Favre. He went with the hard count, and you're going to see him signal out to Sidney Rice right here. He gives him the hand, and it's a, it's a signal to Rice to run the go route. And he's got Bowman on him and a back throw, a back shoulder throw. I mean, I don't know that it matters where you throw it to this guy. He's going to make it. That's Chester Taylor in motion. Third and goal. Quick throw. Shanko. Touchdown. And to get the field goal. Favre throws. that Shanko. Somehow made that. He's a home run hitter. Favre. With a pocket around him. Throws and wide open is Harvin for a Vikings first down. It's first down and 20. Play action and right down the middle of the field. Percy Harvin to the 40. 22 yard catch by Percy Harvin and Brett Favre just fired it right down the middle. Well, watch him. I mean, a guy that fast, you just can't not give him a free release off the ball. You've got to line a defender over him. You got to reroute him. You allow a guy with that kind of speed to go down the middle against a cover two scheme. That's the weakness in Percy Spotted Harvin. Back at the 15 after the hold by Berrien. Here's a screen for Taylor and a good play made by Taylor. Out of the backfield, it's Taylor. He gets to the 20. Harvin has had three or more in a single game 36 times in his career. He throws here and it's caught by Shanko, who's been busy. stopped. It's third down and five. Far pulls it back and hits Tahi, the fullback, and he has a first down. I just don't think we'll ever be broken. On third down and ten, Far slings it and completes it. Bernard Berrien. The safety off of Lava, he overruns that, expecting Berrien to maybe run a comeback, and because he overran it, it second and 15. Right far. Been a day of conversions on third down. Is that another? How about Percy Harvin? Is he tough? Going up to make the catch down the middle of the field, taking a hit and hanging on. Well, let me show you why. The linebackers come up tough. They come linebacker tough, and then they've got to drop underneath that route. And because they were lined up in the line of scrimmage at the snap of the ball, it was just enough to hold them and allow then Percy Harvin to get in behind those, those reps are very important. Third down and goal. Is he going to get his fourth? That is Taylor, and what a good play. 19 good. yards away from a new career high throwing the football. So, I don't know. I'm a little surprised that his career high is 402. I don't want to say just 402, but he's closing in on that. I don't know if he's going to get there, if he's going to have to throw the ball much more in this game as the Vikings try and Take time off the clock. Here's one throw. That'll add to it. Berrien. Berrien gets his sixth catch, and that was eight more yards. Bowman on the stop. I mean, it's really point. point. If the Vikings are in a situation, it'll be interesting to see how they play it with Brett Favre. If they're in one of those spots where they've clinched their division.